Hello, Miracle. Miracle had a bath. Yeah, she's pretty mad. <laughs> she's pretty mad at us right now. But she smelled like ass. Like, and, I don't know how a cat that doesn't go outside and spends four hours a day licking herself smells so bad, but she did. She worked very hard to get that smell. Like, when Dan rinsed her, the water ran off her brown. I don't know how she got so dirty. Yeah, I, I, she worked really, really hard to smell that so ever bad. Since, gave her a bath at like 6 p.m. And ever since then, like every time Dan so much and looks in her direction, she just starts shivering. <laughs> She's dry. It's 11.30 at night. She's <laughs> 100% dry, but he so much as looks at her and she's like, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'll never be warm again. I'm dying. She well, said pepperoni. You took her smell. She worked hard on that smell and you took it from her. You I'm monster. So mad at yeah. I, I, so I, she wants to go away. She's pretty mad at me right now. She's like, no, I don't want to be on the internet. Fuck you. <laughs> But she doesn't smell like ass anymore, which is really nice. <laughs> she likes to sleep. She likes to sleep on your face. Like I woke up today with her ear in my eyeball. She likes to like lay on my neck, and when she smells, that's a little unpleasant. <laughs> that's her gift to you. And then she sneezes in your face. <laughs> She's a wonderful little cat. I love her. <laughs> She really is the sweetest little Just cat. Just backpedal on that one right there. But she smells bad and she sneezes in your face. You know. Oh. Sometimes you gotta handle that. Well, this week is, we said last week, there would be fallout from St. Patrick's Day. And guess what? There was fallout from St. Patrick's Day. Because of course there was. I told you people to make me proud out there. Oh, they did, Tara. They sure did. They worked hard. No, I think they probably did not. <laughs> we went out for dinner on St. Patrick's Day, and our waitress was so stoned. Like, it, we got all the orders all right, everything was fine, but she was just like, hey, can I get you guys? She had this, like, neon green wig on. We ordered our stuff. Okay. Do you blame her? That was kind of self-defense for her. She's working on St. Patrick's Day. Probably the only Day. way she got through the night, yeah. Right. She's working on St. Patrick's Day. How will I live through this? In, like, a pub. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is... I'm, I'm getting fucking stoned. That's how you do that. And to her credit, like I said, the orders were right. Everything was fine. She was just obviously baked out of her mind. <laughs> we were like, well, you almost deserve a better tip for that. Because you pulled off St. Patrick's Day stoned as shit and didn't fuck anything up. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine and the Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And of all the St. Patrick's Day stories I received, this one was magical. Um... Because not only was it an excessive amount of damage, he did it without hurting anybody. And we yet, that. How, and yet, and yet, impaired driver strikes three cars before a cord catches fire. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. That's like that's like bumper cars extreme. Uh Washington, a St. Patrick's Day uh That's Saint... like a fender bender in a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> like if you happen to like clip the curb in a Michael Bay movie, your car explodes. Oh no. Washington, St. Patrick's driving while impaired arrest in Annapolis, Maryland involved a police chase, the suspect crashing into three cars and having his Honda Accord burst into flames. Uh, police say they've charged Marvis Montrell Pollock, 34, of Baltimore, with four counts of assault, driving while impaired, fleeing and eluding by motor vehicle, and numerous other related traffic charges. Incident started around 8.30 when police say Pollock was driving erratically 
and swerved into the eastbound lane of US 50, nearly striking a DUI checkpoint. Okay, to begin with, when you almost hit the DUI trap hit tra checkpoint, that's a clue. They might stop you. They, yeah. Uh, police tried to pull over the vehicle, but they say Pollock sped up and fled. No. <laughs> Why do people do this? You're not going to outrun them. It's it's not like the game. It's not like you're it's 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 not like you've got a three star warning. Right. And like it, you're not just going to get more stars and cooler loot. Like you're yeah. going to get put in jail is what you're going to do. Officers followed him, pursuing him through the Arnold area and the community college. A police helicopter then began tracking him. U.S. Uh, news release says Pollock made his way back to Roe Boulevard, where he unsuccessfully attempted to drive through vehicles stopped at the red light, striking three cars and disabling his car, which later caught fire. Cherry on top, Pollock was then arrested and found to be unlicensed and under the influence. So not Maybe. only... Maybe it was a Jackson Pollock thing. Well, you know Jackson Pollock's thing, right? It wasn't about what ended up on the canvas. It was action painting. It was about how you made it more than what it actually looked like. So he was action painting with a car. This was performance art, obviously. <sighs> Or he just got fucked up on St. Patrick's Day and acted like an idiot. Why were you... It's You were already didn't have a license! And you thought, you know what? This is a good plan. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna get drunk. I'm gonna drive around without a license on St. Patrick's Day. What could go wrong? You know, if you're going to drive drunk, not that you should, you should never, ever, ever drive drunk. No. Because if you do, you're an asshole. Yes. But if you're going to be that asshole, St. Patrick's Day is probably your statistical best night of not getting caught. Because <laughs> you're surrounded by other drunk assholes. Well, he, you know, he could have laid low, but you know what I think it was? He was like, okay, that driver's not wearing green. Guys, yeah, come, come here, come here. It, fuck! Oh, that one's not wearing green. Come here. No. <laughs> What's weird is, I, you know, I do St. Patrick's Day the fuck up, and yeah. this is my first St. Patrick's Day where I'm living now, and like nobody really gave a fuck. Like I was working, and generally, if I'm working, I carry like a couple of hundred shamrock stickers and just give them out to people. And like people were wearing like token bits of green. And like, you know, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you're not Irish, you don't have to do it. Just don't wear orange and everyone's happy. And I'd be like, oh, do you want a sticker? No, thank you. And I'm like, I've never done my stickers. People in New Jersey just don't give a fuck. They're like, no, I'm good. I'm like, really? Okay. Tara, can you blame them? They're in New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> I live here now. Mm -hmm. uh, New Jersey is a really weird place to drive, but that's another conversation for another time. The roads here are totally fucked up. So, sometimes when we have these crime stories, and these idiots who, who perpetrate crime... It's this was sort of a perfect storm of their own making. It's another butt dial, which, you know, the, the butt dial of nine one one. It's it's I, I, cops are probably just like you know we don't have to work so hard anymore. They're just gonna call us anyway. But this one, they really are not. They're not. A, this is not a challenge. It's not like Sherlock Holmes anymore. It's like it's pretty much. Eh. Alleged Mankato area robbers, butt dial 911, found hiding inside sheriff's 
gun range. What? Kyle James, Jeremy Itis, Itis, and Jessica Friedrichs were arrested in connection with the robbery of a North Mankato supply after one of them accidentally butt-dialed a Blue Earth County police dispatcher. According to information from the sheriff's office, dispatcher took a call where there were two men talking but couldn't establish contact with them. Their conversation, however, made it sound as though they were possibly involved in theft or burglary. Dispatcher monitored a call for more than 30 minutes, and the caller's location was, was traced to just north of Mankato city limits. Law enforcement were sent to the area, and once there, they found James and Ida's hiding inside the Blue County Sheriff's Office gun range. That's the worst possible place to be hiding. Like, why don't you just hide inside the jail cell? I just, it's... This is like delivery. I don't want to update Flash right now. Stop it. Stop it. This this is like delivery for the police. This is like carry out, de delivery of, of criminals. <laughs> We're a little on quota tonight. Can you guys? Thanks. Yeah. I just... <sighs> Investigators, items uh, found possession of suspects led investigators to Man North Mankato Supply. Uh, they believe they forced a way into the business, ransacked the interior, then left with cash and other items. All three are on in currently in custody on suspicion of burglary, and charges are expected to be filed tomorrow. <sighs> That's like... Maybe leave your phone in the car if you're going to commit a felony. It's a... I, I don't understand how all these phones butt dial nine. Who has nine one one on speed dial? It's, I think you can. I think you can set it up so that because I know even, like even if your plan, even if you haven't paid your phone and your phone's shut off, you can dial nine one one. Like it'll let you dial that. But um, you can like one button dial nine one one. I know there's a way to do it. It. Well, you know, I, I don't... Shut the phone off, man. <laughs> <sighs> and it's hot, like, it's not easy to butt dial with an iPhone, because no. you have to unlock it. Yeah. Put in your password. Well, if you have a password set, you don't have to. But you have to unlock it, get into the phone function, then dial the number... Then hit call. Well, I know like, it's with, not a one step process. Well, I know with mine, it's uh, at least on my Android, um, there's a, um, an emergency dial. Well, yeah, you can get to it from the lock. Even if the screen is locked, you can. It, it, I don't you think just, I have that. Well, okay. I guess, I guess the lesson here is if you're going to get into crime, get an iPhone. Because the likelihood of butt Android will butt dial the, the cops on you. Like, I <laughs> I honestly don't know how you could accidentally butt dial somebody with this thing. And I've carried it around in my pocket. Like, if I'm at work, I pretty much have it in my pocket all day. And I've never butt dialed anybody. It's really hard to do. And yet, it keeps happening. Well, it's like, you know, they say serial killers secretly want to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe these people do, too. And hiding in the sh in the sheriff's, in the fucking sheriff's office, of all the places to hide out. Well, the gun range, it's not the sheriff's office, right? Well, it's still attached to the fucking, it's, they, there are cops in there all the time. That's where they go. Well, yeah, there is that. It's like two places you don't want to hide. The, the cops' gun range and the Dunkin' Donuts. They go find you. Oh. What, Krispy Kreme instead? Maybe? They like Krispy Kreme? Or... Okay, so the title of this show is What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And I've noticed as, as time goes on, I, I don't have to say that so much. Just mainly mock the stupid. But in this case... It pretty much applies. Also, this is this goes in the you're going straight to hell category. 
Hey, handicap note left on Ohio amputee's car. Ashley Brady of uh, Miamisburg says neighbor had been parking in her handicap parking spot. A woman with a prosthetic leg who left a note asking her neighbor not to use her handicap parking space said the rude response letter began, quote, Hey, handicap. Ashley Brady, 26, of Miamisburg, says she lost her leg in an accident in 2014, learned to walk again with a prosthetic, but she found walking on ice posed a brand new set of challenges. Struggled a lot across the snow, fell in the parking lot trying to learn how to balance and walk, fell multiple times, which my neighbors have seen. Um... Management in her apartment complex agreed to give her a handicapped parking space near the door to her building, but someone without a placard started parking in the spot on Saturday. Brady said she left a note on the vehicle. I was stern and confident with what I was saying, and just letting her know she doesn't know what it's like to walk around with your own without your own leg. She, in return, placed this really rude note on the, the uh, her car. Here's, here's the response. Hey, handicap! First, never place your hands on my car again. Second, Honey, you ain't the only one with, quote, struggles. You want pity? Go to a one-leg support group. You mess with the wrong one. I don't care what your note said. Shove it. But you touch my car again. I will file a report. I am not playing. I let the office know the cryberry, crybaby one leg touches my property. I will cause trouble, so go cry your struggles to someone who cares, because I'm walking away with both mine. Expletive. Bitch. It ended with bitch. Wow. Okay, so if you were thinking about... You're going, an asshole. Yeah, if you were thinking about going out and being a douchebag this week, everyone, understand it's all used up. There's no more... Yeah, alive. there's no douchebag left to go around. There's none. It's all gone. Between this and Ted Cruz... It's all done. It's it's done. We're 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 all used. We're all out of douchebag. You'll have to wait until we get a new shipment in. I can check in the back, but I'm pretty sure. And they better not have declared being an asshole an official handicap because there's just never going to be parking again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking handicap spaces are going to have to go all the way down the street. <laughs> I, I motherfucker. You gotta be a special kind of asshole. You you are an awful human being. You you and you know what? I'm I'm the restraint on this person, Ashley, who's lost your fucking leg. Have a fucking bit of human decency. The restraint on her because she put the letter on Facebook. Okay, didn't put the parking. I mean, didn't put the the license plate. Didn't put the car making model. Just so I would, I, that is some heavy fucking restraint because Jesus. Motherfucker. You're just a bad human being. And that's like over a fucking parking space. These are the things that, like, I was talking to somebody at work about a month ago before I moved. And she said somebody jumped out of their car and started screaming at her in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot over a parking space. And it's like, is that worth it to you? Like, do you really get so amped up with rage over a fucking parking space that you have to do, like, why? Just park somewhere else. It, it's not that hard. Like, why is this worth your rage and energy and venom like it's parking space it's not that fucking serious and I mean, just and to be like fuck you i got two legs go cry some what is are are did, did you not just your mama just did not raise you right you're a sociopath you are a sociopath. You don't belong among us. <laughs> Find like a little island and go there. We don't want you here. And then you won't have to worry about parking. Yes. You can park wherever you want on yes. your private dickbag island. Dickbag island. That oh my god, that's the that's their new reality show. If we had to send all the dick bags to their own island, we'd have to clear out Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No, you guys gotta go. We're getting all the dick Everybody bags here. To, you have to move. You gotta you move. Yeah, you all can have Europe. It's really nice. Yeah, we we we'll, we're gonna need that space for all the dick bags. Yeah, we, there's a lot of them coming. So you you're can stay if you. You're the only island continent continent big enough to sustain all the dick bags. So we just need to arrange a trade. You can stay if you want, but we're just and that's saying. Why I think Africa before somebody's like, that's racist. It's only because it's the only island continent big enough. Yeah, that's why I did that. It's Honest. the only one big enough. It's like, it's going to no, be... No, I'm not actually suggesting displacing all the Africans, for God's sake. People get very sensitive. It's, it'd be like Escape from New York, where they made New York a prison. Except yeah. they'd have, we'd need they a whole continent. need to continent. colonize the fucking moon. Yes. yes. Just shoot all the dick bags to the moon. <laughs> well, then, the, you, well, they can't do that, because when the aliens come, they'll be the first ones that we they meet. Because they'll be sitting up there on the moon... And the aliens will stop. Hey, you, you know about that planet there? Fuck your mama! Really? <laughs> okay. Let's leave. Blow it up. Blow it all up. Let's go. Okay, well... <clears throat> we can't get to Mars yet. <laughs> get your ass to Mars because we have dick bags to ship away. Seems a bit excessive to shoot them into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so when we were kids... I mean, I, it's like Sarah Palin. I don't wish her any harm. I just want her to go away. Just, just go, go home. Just go home. And leave us all alone. I don't wish any ill for you, dickbags. I just want you to go away. So we'll, Go be dickbags to each other somewhere else. So when you and I were kids, I know I remember this. I know you must remember this. And if you were kids in the 90s, then you're not going to remember this. Every toy started talking back then you had a little button you push on it would say stuff i had this little uh venom action figure and you push a button on it and go die spider-man die spider-man i want it your brains die spider-man well then there was the talking army that yes terrible shit like math is hard let's go shopping you remember that that's the thing everyone remembers about the talking barbie is that and i like, hate math and i love shopping but god damn it barbie math is you're never hard. gonna be an astronaut with that attitude and you would think after the fiasco that caught it was even lampooned on the simpsons it was a fucking fiasco for mattel you would think after that that if they were going to do a talking barbie again they would be a little more careful about how they implemented it are they doing it again yes i love barbie i do i understand why barbie's controversial but i love her because i grew up with her but Man, Barbie shouldn't talk. Barbie has nothing to say. Well, in this case, it's not so much a matter of Barbie talking as listening. Barbie and her tiny ass waist and giant tits and feet that can only stand in high heels. You have nothing to say. Mattel's new Hello Barbie. Shiny fits. <laughs> Mattel's new Hello Barbie records kids' voices and sends the intel back to corporate. Unveiled the 2015 Toy Fair in New York City, Mattel's new Hello Barbie is a Wi-Fi connected doll that talks back whenever you talk to her. The hitch, as several outlets have reported, is that she will also repeat what you say back to the company. Hello Barbie, which Mattel says will go on sale this fall, works by pressing and record and processing users' voices. Pressing a button on her belt prompts the toy, priced at 75 US dollars, to ask a question, and then records the resp response with an embedded microphone and transmits it to cloud servers. Voice recognition software by San Francisco-based startup Toy Talk saves and decodes the content, then uses it to formulate an appropriate response from Barbie. As Toy Talk gathers recordings of its users' conversations with Hello Barbie over time. It learns their name, interests, and conversational habits. Toy Talk's privacy page describes the process And whether well. your parents are dirty commies. We may use, transcribe, and store such recordings to pro provide and maintain the service to develop, test, or improve speech recognition technology and for other research and development or internal purposes. Toy Talk's also notes these recordings may be shared with parents and third parties. So Barbie 
if if you get the that's creepy as fuck. Barbie may rat you out to your parents. And the government. This is like fucking NSA Barbie. <laughs> NSA Barbie. Does she come with a little towel and a water jug? <laughs> 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 that wow that's really creepy isn't it who the fuck would buy this helicopter parents <laughs> but it... parents absolutely need to know every single thought their child has and doesn't know how stupid it is to let mattel have that information like yeah i i mean maybe that's hypocritical because yeah i have an iphone Fucking Tim Cook knows everything about me. They know everything about me. They know where I shop. They know what restaurants I like. They know who I talk to. They know I'm obsessed with the cat. Everything. But they're not like, going to call your but relatives. Bye. They're not going to call your relatives and tell them shit about you. And also, I'm not a child. I made this decision. I bought my spy device of my own volition, knowing that the terms of service were draconian. How is it that... But... How is it that every time they try to do something like this with Barbie, they turn it into a fiasco? And it's kind of amazing because Barbie's a fucking staple. Barbie's an institution. So you'd think they'd be pretty good at not fucking it up. And yet, and this who? How did they? How did this get through the marketing department with everybody saying, "Let's be a great idea. Let's be a great idea. Let's make this. Let's make this." How much cocaine was going through Mattel when they thought no one would have a problem with this shit? Have you been paying attention to the news? Does the name Edward Snowden mean nothing to you? People are That's free. Ken doll looks like. <laughs> An Ed Snowden Ken doll to go with, yeah. with, because people are freaked out about this shit right now. And he has one eye that's a camera. Because <laughs> people are people are seriously freaked. This is not some. This is poking the bear. What are you doing? Don't and do why that. does Mattel need that information? Ostensibly, they claim it's, you know, the, to make it more interactive. Yeah, Furby does that without a fucking Wi-Fi connection. Yes. Yes. You don't have to... Fur, Furby doesn't phone home. Right. It's not necessary. It's just fucking creepy. Don't do it! Don't... Oh my god. Speaking of fucking creepy, we have a saying here, what the fuck is wrong with you? And it's it's a it's not just a saying, it's a piece of information, gentlemen, that you will need to know and take with you through your life, and I guarantee you it will come in handy at some point. And that saying is no one wants to see your dick. No. It is a truth, it is a universal someone might wish to see your dick, but the preferable course of of action is to presume they do not. And Assume wait. they don't until they make it clear otherwise. Yes. yes. Wait to. I just got a new Twitter follower yesterday. <clears throat> the username is like hard cock something something, and the picture is just a big old erect penis. And they pretty much reply to. It seems like mostly porn models and then me, which is a little weird. But <laughs> they pretty much reply to write like, "You get me so hard," and I just jerked off to you. That's their whole Twitter account, as far as I can tell. Charming. Yeah. That seems like he has a great personality. Well, you know, at least he has the common sense to do so behind an anonymous nickname on the internet. And not Yeah. And not share his dick pics in person. Man tells police showing pictures of his penis to Meyer employees cheers me up. Grand Rapids, Michigan. A 51-year-old man has allegedly come up with a unique way to cure the blues. David Keith Slavinsky is accused of taking pictures... To cure the blue balls? 
Oh! Oh, no. Sorry. David Keith Slavinsky is accused of taking pictures of his private parts on his cell phone and then showing them to unsuspecting employees at area Meyer stores. Slavinsky is a repeat criminal offender charged with, oh, with over the last two decades with a variety of sexually related crimes that resulted in him being placed on a GPS tether. January 28th. This is how you know we've made it to the future. This is how you know the future is now. You don't even have to actually expose yourself in public anymore. You can take a picture of your dick at home. And then take and it. keep your pants on in public and still be a flash. <laughs> Thanks to modern technology. You don't have to you take. Can a sex crime. You can be on a sex offender registry without ever removing your pants in public. The, the future. Meyer story was allegedly uh, talking to a female employee in the electronics department when he pulled out his cell phone and displayed pictures of ex exposed privates, according to a probable cause affidavit. Police say Slavinsky was identified on video by the Meyer stores and also confessed to the exposure. Slavinsky is quoted as saying, yeah, it cheers me up when I'm feeling down. Get a puppy! Get no, a fucking get a puppy! puppy. Are you... No. Yeah, wait, I, I should read. Think about what he's going to do to that. <laughs> Get a fucking therapist. <laughs> if the only way that you can give your mood a boost when you're feeling down is to commit a sex offense, you need somebody to talk through your childhood with. Or just watch Spongebob. Just watch. It's on Netflix. Watch Spongebob. If you need a laugh. Oh, okay. I watched an episode of Spongebob once. It's what I imagine being on acid might be like. Or watch Bob's Burgers. There's lots of funny stuff on it. Just get Netflix. If you're feeling... just. There's, there's a lot of ways to improve your mood without having to expose yourself to women. Yes! Because they don't... What are you doing? Because we don't want you to do that. And I hate this worse because I love Meyer stores. Meyer stores, do you, do you have those in New Jersey? We do not. They are the best. Okay. Imagine... We have Wegmans, which my sister informed me is basically the Oz of supermarkets. Okay. Imagine an alternate reality Walmart, like, like a mirror universe Walmart. It's Walmart, but it doesn't suck. Oh. It's like a union store, and they stock all the stuff, and it's cool, and it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like... You don't feel that that slavering hand on your shoulder as you're walking. Just that horror of it. Did you have Meyer in Missouri? <clears throat> Dan? He can't hear me because he has headphones in. Did you have Meyer in Missouri? No. No? Okay. It's I a figured he's a southerner, you're a southerner. It's a wonderful place. It's and and so, I yeah. <laughs> Yes it is. I'm from the fuck I'm from Winterfell, okay? Everything's the fucking <laughs> south. I, Sorry, go on. I'm kind of pissed at this guy. He didn't go to Walmart. Don't fuck with Meyer. They're good people. Leave them alone. If you like, fuck with Walmart, Leave any retail people alone. Yeah. I work retail, and I don't want any asshole walking up and showing me pictures of his dick. No, no one wants this. It's no. not. It's not. A, it's not charming. It's not fun. It's not fun for anybody. I don't understand how it's fun for you. It's not cute. You're never getting a date this way. No. It requires to show someone that your dick requires an invitation, an explicit, firmly worded invitation. Uh, well, speaking of Walmart, we have one. This 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 last guy is kind of amazing. Although it's it's one of those when you see someone put way too much effort into something that probably could be solved much easier it's one of those you know you go and weigh the fuck overboard it, it's like if you need to walk the dog and you build this rube goldberg-esque machine <laughs> to take your it's kind of like that um let me send you the link here this alleged spider-man thief in alabama walmart escapes by climbing into ceiling kicking his way out, and running away. 
and we got video. Okay, there what? he is. There he is outside of the store after he'd already been spotted shoplifting. There's the police. They've got him. Um. But what he does next is he squirms his way free. He jumps, goes into one of the, the upper... He actually sort of bounced into one of the upper tiles in the store, climbed into the ceiling of the Walmart. You can see there, he's, he's, that, that's the hole he left. And then he kicks his way out in a different part of the store, jumps from the ceiling to the floor... And runs out the front door, and they lose his ass. Wow. Suspect was dragging the store security office, but tried to bust out. And then uh, then uh, they heard bangs bump, and moments later, the man kicked his way through the ceiling. Crawled back in, moved to another part of the ceiling, closer to the exit, kicked his way through again. Carefully balanced himself on top of the, the front door frame. As stunned officers watched below, he then jumped to the floor, dashed the parking lot, and outrunning authorities drove away. So that parkour thing is really taken off, huh? <laughs> Police said, now is the high climber dropped the stolen items before fleeing. Okay. Look. I understand you didn't want to go to jail. But at this point, 10 people were filming you on their phones. Running isn't going to do a whole lot. And then giving them something worth putting on YouTube, again, is not hey, helping. You know what? If you're caught, go big, man. <laughs> At least now he's a fucking star. <laughs> he was going to jail, and nobody knew who the fuck he was. Now he's going to jail, but he's a fucking YouTube star. Do you really want to be... Maybe he can parlay it into mon some money for his defense. Do you really want to be a YouTube star in jail? Do you want everyone in jail waiting for you because they know who you are? Because they want you to plan their brilliant escape. Yeah. Ceiling. Yeah. You're going to have like 10 different guys go, yo, you going to help me get out of here now. Get in the fucking ceiling. Get the fuck in the fucking ceiling. You don't want to be known for that. If you can do it, maybe you do. <laughs> then you're fucking rocket. Yeah, but okay, he damaged the store. He's already on the hook for shoplifting. It's a womp. <laughs> Have you ever seen a single fucking Walmart where they would notice? <laughs> they put up a brand new Walmart down the block the day after it's built. That place will look thirty years old and will... <laughs> It's a Walmart. Nobody it's not like gives a fuck. Tiffany's okay. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, I love this in the channel. J. Jonah Jameson was right. Spider-Man is a menace. He is a menace. Oh, somewhere J. Jonah Jameson just got an erection and he doesn't know why. <laughs> Ew. Uh, but just, it, it just seems like way too much effort to me. Well, it depends on what he was stealing. Well, he dropped whatever it was. He dropped it. He didn't even get to keep it. Maybe he was just training for Black Friday. <laughs> Getting an Black edge. Black Friday at Walmart? That's no fucking joke. That's the goddamn Hunger Games. <laughs> Maybe he's just training early. Uh, you know what's, what would be even great is if they sell like a box set of, of Hunger Games on Black Friday. Just missing the irony there entirely. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, they did that whole... With the second movie, they did a whole makeup line based around the Capitol. Yeah, yeah. It was their big complaint. And it was great makeup, and the ads were gorgeous. But I'm like, you guys know they're the bad guys, right? <laughs> and, like, even this movie, all the, all the advertising stuff was about the Capitol. And I'm like... 
a buff- you know we're not supposed to root for them, right? They're the bad guys. Buffalo okay. guy in the channel is pointing out that this guy, they also got his fingerprints when he climbed all over the shit. Because it's like, who else's fingerprints are going to be on the fucking ceiling? You can't go, it wasn't me. You kicked a hole up there, son. That's yours. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's caught. <laughs> but at least he got caught in a really fucking cool way. So is is that what we learned tonight? It's it's, it's we learned this week. If you're going to get caught, be 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 styling about it. Go hard or go home. <laughs> Except the other thing, another thing we learned is if you are hard, go home because no one wants yes. to see your penis. If once you go hard, also go, go home. home. Yes, don't. It's it's hard enough working retail. It doesn't need to be made more difficult by your dick. Did you see my Twitter this weekend that I've I've discovered the worst retail job that there is? What? I was in, I was in, I was working in a mall and I passed by this kiosk for something called the My Shiny Honey. My sh oh my God. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta Google this because I have to know if it is what I think it is. And it was, it's this, I thought it was a power brush, but it's not. No. It's just this specially shaped, suppository shaped brush that suctions to the side of your shower. And they have three different scents of cleansing cream. There's lemon and verbena and pomegranate. And you shove this brush up your ass. <laughs> up your asshole. And somebody <laughs> has to stand in a kiosk in the mall in New Jersey. New Jersey <laughs> somebody has to stand there and sell these things to people. And I was like, you know, I've worked some shitty, shitty jobs. I've worked some retail jobs I did not enjoy. But I have never had to stand in a mall and try and convince somebody that they need a $15 asshole brush. Asshole? They, with asshole polish. They have, they make asshole polish! And bleaching cream, because <laughs> porn has ruined us. I've never had to sell somebody anal bleach, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I got some perspective on my life, and I felt pretty good about things. We've learned this week that, uh, all of the douchebag is used up. Come back later. We're yeah. all out. So you, we're all full this week. We're all done. Um, we've learned that butt dialing is probably more useful to law enforcement than law enforcement. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of doing their job. Also, if you do steal things, do not hide in any building that says police on it. Yeah, don't. That's just you're. I mean, thank you for making their job so much easier. Yeah. And keeping them out of danger, but probably counterintuitive from your point of view. And finally, we learned that if you are going to, dr to drive drunk, St. Patrick's Day is probably your best bet because everyone is. But don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That is kind of legendary. They smashed into all those fucking cars and his own car caught fire. Which is funny, because Hondas are usually pretty reliable. I drive a Honda Fit, which I feel really cool about now that Questlove does the commercials. And I bought them, because Hondas are pretty reliable. Like, they'll run for fucking ever. Yeah. Oil changes. But, but. I, I'm pretty sure this is kind of... This, if you do smash into a whole bunch of shit, it's going to catch on fire. Please don't test this, Sarah. Don't. Oh, I have no intention of testing okay. it. I can't afford to replace my car. Don't. I work retail. <laughs> Motherfucker. So who wants an asshole brush? Oh, my Christmas shopping is done. <laughs> Everybody on my list is getting a My Shiny Heine this Christmas. I might just send them to people randomly out of, like, the phone book. Mom, Aunt Tara sent me a new brush. No! No! <laughs> <laughs>